Hiro's name was originally going to be Hiki, and Kel's name was originally going to be K. Adding a mori at the end would spell out Hikikomori, a shut-in. So, we now know that the pinwheels at the faraway lake represent each of the main characters. I previously mentioned how they were separated because of Basil being isolated and Mari being deceased. More evidence to suggest this is that all the pinwheels are clumped together during the lake memory in Memory Lane. There is a picture in the game files called dev underscore test that has these sprites for what seem like Mari and Sunny with Basil's flower crown on. They seem to be headspace variants. Sunny's name is called 451 times in the game's files. Staying still in white space or black space causes Amori to do an idle animation of sitting down. Neighbor's room seems to be based on the treehouse in Sunny's yard. Mari's birthday is March 1st, which is a pun of her name. Mari's name was originally Mary, and she used to just be a friend of Sunny. You can fight a big, strong tree in vast forest if you run into it. You can find out the range of your WTF value by interacting with Timfany in Last Resort. She will give you 100, 500, 1000, or 2000 clams. 100 clams means your fun value is between 10 and 13, 500 means it's between 7 and 9, 1000 means it's between 4 and 6, and 2000 means it's between 1 and 3. But you can tell exactly what it is if there's no photo in the junkyard, meaning your WTF value is exactly 1. Sweetheart can be found in the prologue if the player goes to the train station upon defeating SpaceX boyfriend. She can also be seen in her castle's elevator wearing the same disguise. If you walk up to Space Boyfriend's piano, your party leader will play a tune. When doing so as a Mori, he attempts to play the white space theme, but seemingly slams the keyboard out of frustration. Take that as you will. Interacting with beds in Faraway prompts Sunny to rate how comfortable they would be to sleep on. The only ones Sunny thinks are comfortable enough to sleep on are his own and Basil's. The Jock is another character from the Pretty Boy comic created by Omocat. There exists many unused enemies within the game. An unused dog and raven enemy in Faraway, an unused spider cat in Firefly Forest, and an unused baby something spider, presumably for the something in the walls fight. When interacting with Basil's grandma in Faraway Town, there's a 1 in 12 chance that she says, Basil, is that you? In the console releases of Amori, many houses in Faraway Town have a headspace border despite there being several borders for Faraway Town. This is likely because the borders aren't set in these rooms, so it defaults to the headspace one. The CDs you obtain in the real world and put in the jukebox can be played in Headspace's Club Sandwich. If you have a pyramid key in Dino's Dig but don't use it, you can use it on your next game. So save up those dollars, get a key, buy the silver spoon, and get the chicken ball. If you tag Kale and try to eat the pickles in Sweetheart's Dungeon, he will refuse because he does not like them. There's a sprout mole in the servants' quarters of Sweetheart's Castle that reveals the name of all the sprout moles that the party is wearing as masks. Amori is wearing James, Aubrey is wearing Linda, Kel is wearing Sal, and Hiro is wearing Jeffrey. When in the Sweetheart boss fight, eating a donut makes Sweetheart react angrily. In the console version of the game, Basil's wallpaper changes when his friends start to forget him. He turns into a flower, and then his wallpaper is no longer available. On two days left on True Route, when Mari joins your party to help look for your friends, running prompts her to tell Amori to slow down. She mentions that she had a bad knee and can't run very well. It isn't confirmed, but this is likely the reason that Sunny was able to overpower Mari and push her down the stairs. She lost her footing because of her bad knee. The only time you can tag a character and enter a room without the rest of the party, including Amori, is in the girls' bathroom at the last resort. If Hiro is tagged in his face, a number of NPCs will give Hiro items as thanks for his help in various past events. Mountain, Goosey, and Hot Diggity Dog at the train station give a four-leaf clover, a hundred clams, and a hot dog respectively. Small at the Otherworld campsite gives a friendship bracelet. Lone Mole at the Otherworld outskirts gives a donut. Patsy at the Sprout Mole colony gives a butt peach soda. Box Mole at Sprout Mole village gives a snow cone. Bones in the dungeon and the torture room of Sweetheart's Castle give 300 and 301 clams, respectively. Tiffany Darling at the Royal Gallery gives a mango smoothie. 
Mina in Orange Oasis gives a waffle. Ricoli Ravioli at Orange Oasis gives a cheese wheel. Basket Case Silker Crispy Wolf Cambo Touchdown at the Last Resort give nerdy glasses. 440 clams, confetti, 143 clams, dynamite, and watermelon juice respectively. Hoagie at the Club Sandwich in Orange Oasis gives 5,000 clams after interacting four times. The Sea Cow at the Barn House in Underwater Highway gives a combo meal. Finally, City Slicker, Jet Setter, Skull Crusher, and Brick at the Underwater Highway gives milk, poo glasses, a poetry book, and a whole chicken, respectively. The Mustard Sub is most likely a reference to the Beatles song Yellow Submarine, and the characters themselves are referenced to other Beatles songs. Sexy Sadie for Sadie, Eleanor Rigby for Eleanor, Polyethine Pam for Pam, Julia for Julia, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds for Lucy, and Lovely Rita for Rita. You can talk to Amori in two locations, White Space in the Sunny Route and Humphrey in the Tile Puzzle. In both locations, he says dot dot dot. There exists an item in the game called the Mystery Potion that is obtained after defeating Humphrey, resetting headspace and giving the giant check to Humphrey. Medusa gives Amori this item after completing the Medusa's Experiment quest. Using this item changes Amori's gender from male to female, allowing you to enter the women's restroom with Aubrey. The effects of the potion wear off after entering a battle or looking at a mirror and only works in underwater locations. It also works in the faces of Amori, Nighttime Treehouse, The Neighborhood, and Weathervane Iceland Black Space maps. Though, this only works when you take the alternate entrances on one day left of the Amori route. It is believed that this is likely a reference to when there were plans to let you choose Sonny's gender between male or female early in the game's development. Once you complete Pompri after saving Big Molio, you can find him in the Sprout Mole colony. When interacting with him, he gives the party two hot dogs. The maximum amount of money Sonny can have on one day left is $734. I think. Within the game files are a sequence of seven unused black space rooms that were originally planned for a sequence with Amori going through black space. It's unclear why the rooms aren't scrapped, but despite that, they have a lot of leftover functionality. To access these rooms, you'd need to collect 99 black keys for the hole that appears to take you into this sequence of rooms, which is impossible in normal gameplay. However, with a complicated glitch, you can access these rooms. Step 1. Install the 1.0.0 version of the game, preferably with a save at last resort that has only collected 4 crypt keys that aren't O or P. Also, have at least 2 rotten milk. Step 2. Have 305 clams exactly. Step 3. Go back to last resort and pick up the end key. Step 4. Interact with the first toll gator in Endless Highway. It has to not be open. Spam X to stop talking. Step 5. Encounter an enemy and load the last resort save you have. Step 6. Collect O or P and enter the hole the fifth key activates. Then use Rotten Milk on Amori. Step 7. Retry on the game over screen, run from the enemy, close the menu, and hold down. Bam! You are at the start of the 99 key rooms. For more information on how key wrong warps work, check out this video. There's a hidden tombstone for Omocat in the top right of the Black Space Dev Tombstone Room. In a section of Booping Forest, there is a radio that plays Morse code. If you translate the Morse code, you will get a message about recycling being everything. This is probably a reference to the Recycle Cultists in Faraway Town, but can also reference how Headspace is being recycled over and over within the loops. If you do an aborted true route run, the other Mart Lady will appear in the Water Walkway Black Space map. The hardest area to reach in Amori is called Mario's Home, a Black Space map that is a recreation of Sonny's house with all his friends in it. To get to it, you have to be on the true route or aborted true route and progress through Black Space until you get to the Forest of Stumps. Then, pick up something and the key and wait at the right edge for 143 seconds. Once you warp to the new map, you have to interact with an object in the void to get to Water Walkway. Head upwards and to the right across the body of water and enter the first door you see. A section of the Haunted Trees Hanging Room in Black Space spells out Kill Me. In the Cloud Walkway area of Black Space 2, there's a character named Big Pocket who says, I'm gonna dance, before asking if you'd like to join in. 
By saying yes, Big Pocket starts dancing, lifting his legs in sync with a sped up version of Space Boyfriend's tape. Interestingly enough, if you stand to the left or right of Big Pocket while he's dancing, his legs will hit you, causing a little bit of damage. You can't game over from this, but it's one of the few ways you can take damage in black space. If you remain idle in the black playground area of black space for 42 seconds, Omori will do one of three things. Lay on the ground with his eyes closed, blink while crouching down, or clutch his stomach using frames from the stab animation. You can exit your house and meet up with your mom, leaving Faraway behind. By doing so, you can find a text document within the game file that has an ASCII art of something. This implies that something follows you even outside of the game. There is very likely a hidden message within the Amori Altar song. It sounds like an argument between two people. It's speculated to be the fight that led Sunny to push Mari down the stairs. There exists storyboard art for an unused cutscene where Sunny's friends would react to hearing the truth. Supposedly. That's cool and all, but have you ever wanted to see Basil absolutely snap? 